I'm very much looking forward to this finale. I am as well. I hope it is a satisfying conclusion to the trilogy. I agree. I hope we have to get a satisfying conclusion to this story. Well, without further delay, let's look at the episode. I am excited. This is one pay-per-view that I could live without. I remember that so vividly. <laughs> I'm sorry, they look dumb with their mouths open just like... Ooh. Wow. The mutations have forced your armors to their weapons and the enslavement of its people. Even some of the locations the monsters are attacking are like the ones from Destroy All Monsters. Paris. Yeah, Paris was in there. Um, Russia. Because Rodan attacked Russia. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Godzilla attacked New York uh, and Destroy All Monsters, but he's attacking Washington, D.C. in this one. It, it, she, that her shirt keeps changing colors. It's going between like bl light blue and that purple. That was more of a purple one. Like they ran out of the color. I didn't run out of color. <laughs> crayons. They used them all up. <laughs> They're not using crayons to color the <laughs> pony shirt. They had to unwrap, and now they've used them all up. <laughs> I'm trying to think, was there a Nigel death in the first part? Because in the second part is uh, when they uh, crushed him. Like, like, can't catch me! Was there a Nigel death in the first one? I don't believe so. Not too often we get an episode without a Nigel death. I think we're still at 16. Yeah, I think so. If I'm not, I'll just put up what we're actually at. Yep. <laughs> the actual count right up here. <laughs> yep. I am very fond of the pyramids of Giza. <laughs> <laughs> the Arc de Triomphe is just fascinating. I must not destroy Santa's workshop in the North Pole. <laughs> Detroit can go. <laughs> <laughs> How does he know how to use that? I mean, he was, he did kind of work with it when um, they tried to get him to work for them, so it makes sense that he's trying to do everything. If it was Randy, because yeah. he was uh, captured up in the little like, that beam tractor thing. beam. Yeah. Neuro-linguistic programming which combines hypnosis, acupressure, and biofeedback. I knew that. Wow. Of course she knows how to do that. From, she's with the French MIB. Yep. That's like week one, you learn how to do that. It's at week two, you get the neuralizer. <laughs> <laughs> the flashy thing? Yes. <laughs> now and forever. This is very much Destroy All Monsters, but that, this aspect reminds me of uh, Avengers, almost, with the Tachari army coming down to the Earth. Yeah, definitely. I like the design of these aliens. It's different. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on! Well, that was short-lived. Never oh! mind! Don't shoot the aliens, though. That's, you know... Now, this isn't gonna happen. But what would be interesting is she got out of control, provided a distraction, and once they got away, she got shot and died. That doesn't happen. It ain't gonna happen, yeah. But, but that, would that would be, be really cool. Oh, those are awesome. They're like alien they're like alien versions of um uh, snow speeders. Yeah. The A wings? No, not the A wings, the, the snow speeders from uh, Hoth. Oh. Back to overload the dampers. Or just blow it up. Always works. I didn't even try to call that. <laughs> Just may have a chance. 
Looks like it. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. That was like in uh, Return of the Jedi where the alien crashed into the Star Destroyer and it yeah. crashed into the, the Star. Yeah. Of course, Mechagodzilla is still under their control. The hell? Minus the melting body. That was kind of like Independence Day, uh, where the alien crashed. Yeah. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> what the hell is that smell? Apparently that was um, unscripted. He, like, oh, because, really? Because with, I think they were filming in Death Valley with all the, yeah. the, the salt desert. Will Smith hated the smell of that, so just like, what, during that take, he's like, Ugh! Interesting. I mean, it was made by the same people, so... That makes sense, then. Oh! It's kind of like, um... Yeah, the, um... Doesn't uh, Mechagodzilla have one of those? I want to... Uh, um... Yeah, uh, Mechagodzilla... Uh, the two things I'm thinking, Mechagodzilla 2, the diamond arm is supposed to convert his energy into that, um... That plasma cannon. Yeah. And the, uh... Su uh Super X2 had the diamond uh, thing that uh, blew bad Godzilla's breath in it. Yep. <laughs> Not celebrate yet. Here we go, Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla oh, Tristar yeah. Edition. Or not. <laughs> and that's the end of the show. <laughs> I didn't even try to time that. <laughs> that would have been great. Game over. Game over, man. Game over! <laughs> I would like to see all of the monsters team up against Mecha Godzilla. Like actual Destroy yeah. All Monsters style. Yep. That kind of sounds like one of Orga's roars. But again, this came first, right? Uh, same oh, year, 99. I guess so, yeah, for Japan it would have been And I know for the American release, TriStar still uh, handled that. I know they changed some things with like the, the audio design for both Godzilla and Orga, as well as the soundtrack, so... Wouldn't be surprised if they took that and put it towards Orga. Yeah. I can fly. I'm a pilot. Again, they're the way the story is going. It's kind of like, like, like lending towards her dying, so, uh, like heroically. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the um, uh, Death Star Two uh, shield generator. Yeah. Or when they blew the uh, shield generator in uh, on Hoth. Didn't they blow up a big? Oh yeah, yeah the, for the rebel base that yeah. shield generator. Stop trying to sniff each other's tails. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they looked like they, That's were, what doing. they were doing. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the Mecha Godzilla. You sure? Well, I mean, you know, it was dead. That's true. Like, it's not doing this on its own, you know? Right, no, yeah. Oh, come on, oh. Give, me, give me a beam struggle! We need a beam war. Okay. <laughs> Not cool at all. A ship that small? I don't think it would have an I escape I feel like that pod. is the escape pod. Just push a button. Oh, I guess it does have an escape pod. <laughs> Crap, I launched the escape pod without us in it. I think it's this button. Yeah. Nick, uh -oh. we're supposed to be on that. Yeah. Oops. Probably should have went in there first. We round up the remaining creatures and adapt the island so as to contain them. Like a monster, monster island? island? Interested? All right. 
That was the wow. finale of Monster Wars. That was a good one. What would you? What do you think of the overall story that was Monster Wars? I liked it. I really liked that they basically adopted um, destroy all monsters into their own thing. Yeah, and they tweaked it a little bit. You know, it wasn't like a beat for beat. Uh, no, but there was definite inspiration. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the locations alone were like, oh, th- that that's the same. Yep. Absolutely, and yeah. And the fact that they released this as, like, its own separate DVD, it made me think as a kid, like, oh, this is the finale I never saw. No, it's it's a middle point in the series. I tell you, it would be a great finale if it was, but... Again, I, 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 it would have lent itself, if this was a finale, for El- Elsie to die. Because yeah. the way she was being written, it very much felt like they were going to do that. I wonder if that was in, like, a first draft or something, was to have her die... Because, like, we haven't had much stakes in terms of the group. Like, oh, in the first part they broke up, but that was because of the alien, like, emotion control. But if, like, one of them died or, like, one, like, split off and then came back in the finale, that would be really good. That would yeah. be really interesting storytelling. And we could see in later episodes how that's affecting the group dynamic or how it's affecting them individually. Yeah. What do you think of the uh, the trilogy here? I, I really liked it. I, again, the first part was kind of weak, but again, the, it, it's more like set up and like getting ready for the yeah, other it was two. Very expository. I think the second part for me was the best one, even though this one was just action packed and full of like references to both Independence Day and like Destroy All Monsters as a whole. The second one with uh, Mecha Godzilla showing up and then like all the monsters going to their destinations and starting to destroy the cities was really cool. I have to agree. I think I like part two. The best as well. I get the references for Independence Day because that was a very big movie that took place only two years before Godzilla came out. And again, Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich are EPs on this. And exactly, that was their movie. and that was their movie. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like overall. I like that. I'm I'm kind of glad it isn't a finale because otherwise we'd be this would be over after I think what six like fifteen episodes. Yeah. No, not very far in, but there's what 40? 30? forty, thirty. Yeah. yeah, so we have plenty Nine more, halfway, yeah. plenty more to get through, and I'm I'm excited to get to uh, the rest of these because I think once we hit disc three, that's where we're not going to start recognizing more and more episodes. We still have those two unaired episodes. As one, well. yeah, one on disc three and one on the final disc. Yep. Uh, I can't wait to get through more of this. <laughs> But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, help the channel grow. Hit that little notification bell so you know when we do more reactions like this and when I upload my other videos. Your king is departing.